what? How much time were we on the road? Holy smokes. We've Too been, much time on the road. We've been full grease mode, boys. Mini stick series is back. You guys are probably wondering why we're not um, continuing the last one. Jacob got his lawyers involved. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I did. I <laughs> an idiot. He owes me so many gift cards. So we're gonna, I mean, just watch and you're gonna see right now, boys. Oh my God, what a game. I'm absolutely electric out there. Uh, the gloves, thanks Bauer. Um, this is gonna be a huge momentum change in this series. It was nuts, so thank you guys. And I'm looking forward to game number five. Let's go, boys. Team Oli. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. It's uh, literally just me here. Yeah, I know, but they don't know that. I want, I want to say welcome back. Um, a lot of stuff's been going on behind the scenes. A lot of lawyers involved. Uh, an absolute joke. As you guys know, I was up in the series, heading back to my barn. You know, I was about to sweep it. Well, not sweep, because I lost a few, few, few games, but I was about to win. Oh, one night, allegedly, um, I cut Jacob's knee in his sleep, allegedly, but the video of me doing it um, was deleted because I deleted it, so there's no video of me doing it. So he allegedly says I did it. He got his lawyers involved, and uh, he got the whole entire Mini 6 series thrown out. Yeah, obviously, uh, it's good to be back, though. Uh, I just want to shout out all my fans, you know, praying for me, making sure I got through that career ender, almost lost my whole leg. Um, it was, it was crazy. Uh, I had no choice but to get the lawyers involved. Uh, you know, I called that 1-800 number. Uh, Rin Stoli tried to cut my leg off. He says that he didn't, but I saw the video. He literally showed me one night after a few too many Mountain Dews. Um, so we got to start fresh. It's a bit of a joke, but I mean, what can I do? I and mean, the lawyer said I, we have to redo it. So, um, show me the video and then proceeded to delete it. So, I mean, we all know what he did. I got the scars to prove it. I'm gonna show the picture of Jacob's leg right now. If you're very, if you don't like uh, blood and and ripped open skin, uh, don't watch this part. But I'm gonna show his leg. So you guys can see, I barely, or I uh, allegedly, I I did that, and I barely cut him. It's gonna be a bit of a, you know, a bit of a battle out here right now, but. Obviously, I'm I'm playing. I haven't. I just finished rehab on the old kneecap there, uh, so I don't know how it's gonna hold up. But you know, it's for you guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. No more cheap shots from Oli, so uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, worst case scenario, I just uh, try and chop his legs off. So, anyways, uh, he sued me. He got his lawyers involved, so I decided to sue him for illegal rig size. Um, his barn was an Olympic size, and in the mini stick rules, as professional players, we're not allowed to play that big of rink. So I sued him and I won, and um, every game will be played in my barn. So it's a bit of an advantage for me, and I'm very fortunate in it of that I get to play in my barn every yeah. game. You, you'd rather have all the boys playing in your barn. Well, yeah. Home ice advantage. <laughs> Idiot. But anyways, boys, super fired up to get back in the mint mini sticks. It's going to be an absolute sweep, so looking forward to jump right back in, boys. Well, Peter, I cannot believe it. The boys are back. I didn't think this mini stick series would continue with Jacob's life threatening injury. Yeah, Peter, I definitely thought Jacob was going to lose his leg for sure. But we are super excited to get back into the mini stick series. Well, it looks like Oli just broke his game twig trying to slash Jacob's. Let's go hear from Oli now. All right, boys, not off to a good start. Broke my game twig and won't warm me. I got this custom one here, that's me. Um, I'm just gonna carry on from last season. I was up in the game. I'm not scared of Jit Jacob. He ate a lot of McDonald's today, so he's gonna be heavy in his net. I'm gonna be playing my body. I'm gonna be slashing a lot. I'm gonna be targeting his knee that I cut, or that got cut. I'm gonna be targeting that kneecap. Um, and I'm just gonna be tucking a bunch of highlight reel goals, boys. I'm ready. 
Well, Peter, you heard it here first. Ole Posenin is ready to go. He can't seem to find a stick right now. We're going to head down and hear from Jacob. Game one here, boys. Feeling pretty good. I'm just going to take a little cash through it out, you know, coming off that career ending injury. Uh, knees so back up, good to go. So, just going to play it by ear, see how it goes, see how I'm feeling, uh, get a little comfortable in the net, and then go for the snipes. Should be an easy seven game series, boys. Well, Bob, Jacob is ready to go, and so is Oli. We are fired up to get this series started, Bob. Any final words before we go? That's right, Peter. We are fired up, and we want to welcome everyone back who watched the last mini stick series. These are two professional mini stick players battling it out, two of the greatest of all time in the 2022 mini stick cup. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the arena, the Virgin Island Elite Pro, Jacob Ardow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your home team, number 25 from Bangladesh, Oli. Oh, I almost 
le pied. Fixé. Allez, moi. Coude, coude. Jacob Ardown out to a fast start. That's right, Peter, but Ole Poston will bounce back, but it's not going to be enough because Jacob Ardown will score two goals that we didn't even see cross the line. That's right, Bob. We're going to head over to Jacob and see how that first period went. A good first period there, boys. Obviously, I was just feeling out. I wasn't really trying hard. wasn't really playing the aggressor at all. I just got bases on that. Obviously, both ten on the last side we. My time to game to play defense is spot on. Uh, this first game for us, doing a great job out there. We're just looking for those LDAP passes. Tenny's doing their job, you know, we just, uh, everyone's coming together to see me. You know. We just gotta keep getting pucks deep in his net. And I think we got a good chance of uh, winning. He's, uh, he's a big body. He's definitely been, you know, bulking up in this off season. So hard to see the net, but we'll get him through. Obviously we already are. Jacob sounds absolutely gassed. Down to Oli. Obviously, great period for me. Start a little slow. I'm playing a little physical. Huh. He's chopping me. He's hacking me. He's whacking me. He tried to gut me like a fish there by shoving a stick. Tried to go up. It didn't happen though. I'm battling. My goalie's playing great. My deer are collapsing to the front of the net to make sure there's no opportunities or loose biscuits. Playing great. Second period, I got to keep it up. I'm switching sides here. There's a little more light on that side. So I got to, you know, I got to keep getting shots. I got to play more physical. And I just gotta get more slashes, maybe on the spinal cord, hopefully paralyze them. I just gotta figure it out here, boys, but looking for a big first, second period here. Well, Peter, both guys sound absolutely gassed. Let's head down to the second period. Thank you. 
where on earth missed that? It's in my mitt, buddy. Inconclusive. All right, boys. Can't overturn it. Guys, but you, you know. Can't overturn it. That's a goal. Sit down, bud. What? Ah! Slashing! No! Call it then! Oh! This is oh my! This is the goalie performance of the decade! Let's go! Yeah. Buddy, hit the team! Okay, sorry, redo it. No. Redo it. strike first and he doesn't stop there he'll put in three more and one controversial goal Bob how do you feel about this call well Peter I don't think the puck completely crossed the line but we want to know what you guys think at home was it a good goal or was it no goal I think you're right Bob I don't think it fully crossed the line let's head on to period three see if Oli can continue P3 6-4 we're getting skunked by Ricky in my barn. You should have got your lawyers involved. I'm playing to win. Oh, 
Skin right off. You're just calling that out of the blue after I was getting assaulted? Absolutely not. I was barely even. I barely even assaulted you like that one time we played with all some Matthews and Chow. Oh, what a skinny! Unbelievable! You're a trash can, dude. Oh, go, go! It's a. Ah. Oh my god! You're trash. Don't snap my leg! <laughs> what on you? Oh! Sweaty bee! Oh! Bucky say! Bucky say! Let's go! Sweaty bee ties it up! I'm not gonna swag B. Swag B. Oh! Seven sticks, baby! Play pool. I didn't do it to play pool. Jacob absolutely dominates in the third period, completely shutting Ole out. That's right, Peter, and that controversial goal that was disallowed could have been a game changer for Ole. Let's head down to ice level and hear from Jacob Ardown. Just gutted that one out. You saw me pull out the Swaggy P pop smoke. He didn't know what was coming out of Mishy's for days, boys. Mishy's for days. They called me Mishy Swaggy. You know, I learned from a big brother, Swaggy P. I don't know if you heard from Swaggy. Uh, Unbelievable, I played so good. Uh, Ole is playing dirty, as always, check it out. 
all the slashes, you know, I'm not going, I'm not doing nothing, I'm not even feeling it. And he kicks me in the face. I still barely even felt that. It didn't even go down on that one. So, you know, I'm just out here battling. It's all about adversity, boys. And I did what I came to do. I got the W, you know. Now we're taking the game too. It's going to be a fun series. So when's it going to end with this guy, you know? I had a good lead. Milk and calls. Slashes me in the eye. I almost lost my eye. I was almost blind for a second. Then he complains that my foot barely hits his face. Um, there's no blade on it. We're obviously playing. The, uh, it's just, I, I, I don't know. I just gotta play better in D. I gotta play better in my net. I gotta cover up more, I gotta eat more. It's just garbage. Again, another um, just another joke of a call. Like zero calls on him. He gets a penalty shot because he takes his hand out and smashes it on the ice. Absolute joke. Um, game two is prison rule, so. And that is it for me and Bob today. We wanna thank you guys all for joining to game number one. We are so excited to be back with you guys in the Mini Stick Cup. That is it for us tonight. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you guys in game number two. All right, boys, that's game one. Let's go, let's go. Game one in the books. Well, I'll put up the number one. You're number two. Whatever, it's just let's game go. one. But, uh, yeah, Mini Sticks is back, boys. Let's get it. Start of the season's coming up as well. Um, what, what else? We have a podcast. Tell me a little bit about the podcast. Listen, guys, check out Paydays with On The Bench, uh, Jake Bardown, Oli Postman. Uh, check it out. You can listen to it anywhere. You listen to pods. Uh, it's the best pod in the world. We talk about all of our trips. We talk about everywhere we go, all the fun stories that OTB has been through. Plus, we give you the inside scoop of what's happening in the NHL. The real pros tell you what's up. That's right, boys. So it's on Spotify, Apple. It's pretty much everywhere. Everywhere. Um, anywhere there's a podcast. We're on it. Yeah. So, and also, you know, drop a comment. It helps the Elgizo. El awesome. Oli or Jacob, just like, Jacob, Oli, Jacob, Oli. And we give away free stuff every pod. So if you want some free merch, DM us a message, a uh, comment, or a question that if we talk about it on the podcast, we say your name, send us a message, and we'll send you some free gear. That's right, boys. So we'll see you guys. Game number two. Yeah, that's your number. Because I won. I'm number one. I'm Jacob Rowley. Drop some comments. <laughs> <laughs>